Here's meteorologist Steve Balog, live from Storm Center 2, brought to you by Mills Fleet Farm. Welcome back. Some strong thunderstorms will come across the area this morning. They've already had a history of producing some severe weather across central Wisconsin. And then after a, a midday break, there's a lesser chance of a storm this afternoon. By the time we get into the afternoon, it's really going to heat up out there. We'll have a high of 87 degrees in Green Bay, but with the humidity considered, feel like temperatures will be in the mid 90s. Well, look at all the powerful thunderstorms across northeast Wisconsin on the satellite and radar view. Thankfully, we've dropped all watches and warnings across the area. There is a severe thunderstorm warning for portions of southern Wisconsin, including the Dells, but that is just beyond the reach of WBAY TV. Uh, a little closer inspection shows some powerful thunderstorms right now in Oconto County, southern Marinette County, crossing the waters of Green Bay and heading into Door County. This storm is no longer severe, but could produce some strong straight line winds exceeding 40 miles an hour and give you some heavy downpours. And according to Live Pinpoint, you can see that the storm is expected to come in towards Egg Harbor around 631 and around the Ephraim area at 636 and also Sister Bay 638 this morning. So you'll have some heavy rain coming through, perhaps some pea sized hail. There's less and less lightning compared to when the storms came through central Wisconsin, but lightning, of course, is a threat with all thunderstorms. Back into western Wisconsin, the storms are done. In fact, skies are clearing out back across Minnesota. So later this morning and into the afternoon, I think we're going to get back into some sunshine, which is really going to get those temperatures to warm up. We're already off to a very warm start in Fond du Lac, 70. 5 degrees. Wow, 70 in Manitowoc with some 60s in the north and these dew points they're juicy right around 70. So the air feels almost tropical. I'm sure you felt the humidity all throughout the weekend and had that air conditioning running. Well, I'll tell you, the heat and humidity will not be a good combination this afternoon. Pinpoint predictor has high temperatures getting up into the mid to upper 80s, even a 90 in Watoma, even Lakeside. You would think there might be some heat relief, but not today. You'll be in the mid 80s. Check out the heat indices this afternoon. Mm, mid 90s. So if you have plans to work outside later today, Day. Make sure you give yourself lots of breaks. Make sure you drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Heat indices will drop back into the 70s and 80s as we head towards this evening. So showers and thunderstorms will be coming through between now and say 10 o'clock and then we're dry with clouds giving way to some sunshine, but there still could be a couple storms later today, especially closer to the lakeshore. This is ahead of a cold front, which will bring in some cooler temperatures as we go towards tomorrow. But that storm or two along the lakeshore should be gone as we head towards tonight. Ah, there could be a passing shower overnight, but I think tonight going into tomorrow, we should see partly cloudy skies. Your severe weather outlook is in the moderate category for today with storms and, of course, the heat and humidity, which will be uh, highlighted later this afternoon. Right now in Green Bay, it is cloudy. There's some rain just on our doorstep back to the west. 72 with a west wind at 9 miles an hour. Today, thunderstorms at times. Some afternoon sun, hot and humid with a high of 87. Again, feel like temperatures in the mid-90s. Variable clouds tonight, an isolated shower or two possible, low of 64. And on the water for today, mariners watch out for thunderstorms. And of course, lightning will have south winds around 10 to 15 knots, 1 to 3 foot waves. Now tomorrow, the winds turn to the west, and that helps usher in some cooler and and less humid air. We'll have highs dropping back to the upper 70s tomorrow, mid 70s on Wednesday, partly cloudy skies, upper 60s on Thursday, showers and thunderstorms come back. And I have a funny feeling if the uh, longer range computer models are correct, we could have some rain and storms as the Packers take on the Kansas City mm. Chiefs. Let's go to meteorologist Steve Balon, live with what to expect. All right, well, first of all, we have no watches, no warnings in northeast Wisconsin. That is the good news that these storms, while they're still powerful, they are showing signs of gradually weakening as they move to the south and the east. This is the very latest on Viper, and you can see the very heavy rain with the yellows and reds on the radar from northern Menominee County right down the bay and taking a bend to the west in there on the <clears throat> excuse me, the Shawano area. These storms are moving to the south and east at about 40 to 50 miles an hour, and they're still capable of producing winds around 40 to 50 miles an hour as they bear down on Green Bay and also into Door County. So heavy rain right now from Peshtigo to Ocano back towards Pulaski, and these storms have some hail. In fact, Viper's hail detection suggests that right along the Brown and Ocano County line, hail could be up to an inch in diameter. 
here, and that is going to be heading down towards the north side of the uh, city of Green Bay and also towards Dykesville between now and about 1230 or just beyond that. In fact, as we switch over to live pinpoint uh, digital Doppler radar, the storm expected to hit Green Bay around 1212. The same for Brussels, Maplewood 1218, Forestville 12 third, excuse me, 1223 and in the Casco area in uh, portions of Kiwani County just before 1230. There's a high risk of storms that could have some heavy rains and some strong straight line winds. Hail is a, a more of a moderate risk, and uh, the risk for severe storms with tornadoes seems relatively low. Well, that's an ominous picture, isn't it? That's looking north from our Green Bay Sky Cam as that storm bears down. Very squally shot. 76 degrees as of the top of the noon hour. Breaks the clouds in Appleton, 79. And a live view in Oshkosh has some sunshine out over Lake Winnebago with a temperature of 80. We are warming up with some sun this afternoon and a south breeze. Storms ending in the north, turning partly sunny, very warm and humid, high of 86 forecast for Green Bay. Heat indices could topple 90 this afternoon. And then later tonight, some more thunderstorms could arrive and they could be strong ones. We'll have details on that and where our forecast goes beyond today, coming up in just a few more minutes. Here's meteorologist Steve Baylon, live from Storm Center 2, brought to you by Mills Fleet Farm. All right, I showed you this right at the top of the newscast. I want to show you this Green Bay Sky Camera shot once again. Really dark skies looking to the north, an ominous cloud coming in. It's a part of a squall line, part of a, a roll cloud, if you will. You can't miss it if you look outside and see it in your neighborhood. And some heavy rain is just about to arrive in a downtown with some gusty winds and quite a bit of lightning. Our temperature right now, 76 degrees. Let's check in with our first forecast. Showers and thunderstorms up through about two o'clock and then they'll be ending. We'll get a break in the action. The sun will come back out this afternoon and it's going to turn warm and humid with a high of 86 degrees. With the humidity, the feel like temperatures or heat indices could climb into the low 90s in some spots and then we may have some more thunderstorms coming in tonight. They could be strong. Here's a look at the last three hours on the satellite and radar view and there are the storms rumbling through northern Wisconsin and then taking kind of a bend to the south and east. They're weakening and they're curving into what is a more humid air mass along the lakeshore as they're trying to survive. A closer in view here shows all the heavy rain coming right over the bay, heading into Door County and down into the Green Bay area, curving back towards uh, Shawano. And look at all the lightning strikes. In fact, the most recent lightning strikes are where you see the, uh, right there, blue flashes. So lots of lightning as this squall line comes right down into Door County, brown into Kiwani counties. It is a weaker storm compared to what it was doing about an hour or two ago as it came through portions of north central Wisconsin. Now you're looking at live exclusive pinpoint digital Doppler radar as this storm moves south and east and has wind gusts around 40 to 50 miles an hour. The uh, main brunt of the storm is expected to hit Casco around 1220, Algoma 1222, Denmark 1233, Norman 1238, and in the Maribel area around 1240. So you folks in Kiwani County, you definitely want to be advised this storm means business. No warning on it, but it is definitely very, very strong. And look back to the west. There's additional showers and thunder showers from northwestern Wisconsin across Minnesota. Right in there where you see the broken line of wet weather, that's where there's a cold front which is expected to slice across the state tonight. So this first batch of storms coming through right now should move east and weaken. Then we get a break with some sun and then this additional line of showers and storms should develop and then move across Wisconsin tonight. So just because the storms move out this afternoon doesn't mean we're all said and done. We may have some more stormy weather before tonight is all said and done. The storms that came through Minnesota, northern Wisconsin packed some big hail up to about golf ball size in some places and also some damaging winds that according to the radar estimates exceeded 70 miles an hour. Let's take a moment to think about that. Hurricane force winds are 74 miles an hour and the winds may have reached that in some places across northern Wisconsin. There are a bunch of trees down in some places and some property damage, and I wouldn't be surprised if the power is out in some places in the Northwoods. 
Meanwhile, our temperatures are mostly in the 60s and 70s. Cooler north and that rain cool there. Warmer to the south where you've had dry weather and some sunshine. 80 in Oshkosh, 80 in Fond du Lac, 81 in Sheboygan, but a 71 in Manitowoc. You have a thunder shower overhead. And our dew points are rather sticky, mostly in the 60s. Time to move on to Pinpoint Predictor. We'll see these showers and thunderstorms in around Green Bay into the north and east, winding down this morning, and then as we or this afternoon rather, and as we go through the afternoon, we should see a mix of sun and clouds. Now notice. Not so much early this evening, but later after tonight's 10 o'clock newscast into the pre-dawn hours, there may be some more hit and miss showers and thunderstorms, but most of them will be moving out 7 o'clock tomorrow morning as that front pushes across the area behind the front. Drier weather with a mix of sun and clouds, and uh, we should get a northwest breeze helping to cool things down. Your severe weather outlook is moderate, borderline high for the rest of today, but after that, everything is quieter and cooler. We go from the mid-80s today down to the mid-70s for tomorrow, and it looks like our weekend highs should be in the low to mid-70s with less humidity. So after today's active day, we should have a stretch of some really nice weather as we head into the weekend and into early next week. All right, right now in Green Bay, a storm is moving in. Our temperature is at 76 degrees with a south wind at 10 miles an hour. This afternoon, the storm's ending mainly north, partly sunny, very warm and humid with a high of 86. Tonight, more storms that could be strong. Mega muggy, low of 69. And on the water this afternoon, a small craft advisory continues with south winds of 10 to 25 knots and 3 to 6 foot waves. Well, we cool down. Turns less humid tomorrow with a high of 74. And Kevin, you can't beat that weekend. Mostly sunny with highs in the low to mid 70s. We just so, watch out for the storms right now. I was going to say it won't always look like this. <laughs> Good days ahead. Indeed. Not today so far.